Do you want to know how to generate anime images like these with artificial intelligence? All for the enticing price of free. Then follow this simple tutorial and I'll show you the steps on how to set this up. But first, let me explain how it works and what you'll need. We'll be downloading a program called Stable Diffusion and then using a model, which is the special part of this whole thing, called Anything V3. I have a 3060 Ti with 8GB of VRAM and although this will definitely work with a slower graphics card, you still need a good amount of VRAM at least. Or you'll be limited to make lower resolution images. For example, even with my graphics card, I can't generate images that are super high resolution or I get an error. I wouldn't say that's a major problem because the images still look great and you can use something like Waifu 2x to upscale. Another small note, this program takes up 20 gigabytes of space. It's not exactly tiny, but it's also not the worst ever. So now that you know that, let's get into the tutorial. First off, we'll need to download two dependencies that Stable Diffusion runs on, Python and Git. All of the links are in the description, so first off, go on to python.org, I've linked it in the description, and go right to the bottom and find Windows Installer 64-bit. Open up the installer and you'll get this. Before you click on anything, you need to click this. Add Python 3.10 to path. That's very important. And now click Install Now. And then you're done. Now go on to Git, also in the description, and you want to click this. 64-bit Git for Windows Setup. Open up the installer and you need to click Yes for Administrator, and you'll get this. Click Next, just click Next. Well, I mean, I've downloaded once, and then you'll get this. Here, just click on everything. I, I don't think you technically need this, but it worked for me when I did, so I did it. Uh, then you'll get this, click again, and when you see this page right here, you want to change this to use Notepad as Git's default editor. Not Notepad++, just normal Notepad, and then you can just spam, spam next. Everything by default should be correct. Next up, you need to make a folder, a dedicated folder for your AI. I'm gonna just make it on a desktop here and I'm gonna call it SD 2.0, because why not? Since it's Stable Diffusion 2.0. Now open it up and go to the navigation panel right here at the top and click on this empty space here. It'll select like this, it'll be blue. Now write CMD and click enter. It'll open up a terminal like this and if it for some reason doesn't work, that's because you installed git wrong, so go through that again, redo that. And anyway, what you want to do here is write git clone and then paste in the link in the description, that, and then press enter. Now it'll automatically begin installing Stable Diffusion onto your PC just in the background. You just let it load, let it do its thing, and it's going to begin downloading. This might take a little while, but anyway, once you've done this, go into the description and go into huggingface.co. Hello, Preston from the future here. So, with Hugging Face, they actually took down the two files, so you actually can't get them from Hugging Face. However, I have the two files, so I've put them in a mega.nz file, so you can download them technically also faster than it would have been on this Hugging Face site. So, go in the description, go into mega.nz and download that there. Yes, it's two files. Anything v3.0va and anything v3.0 pruned. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Now you're probably gonna need to wait quite a while for both of these files to download, they're pretty big. So yeah, give it another 20 minutes, 30 minutes, depends on your internet speed, and then come back. Now that these two files have been downloaded, you can take them, cut, and then go into your SD 2.0 folder, or whatever you named it, doesn't really matter. Go into Stable Diffusion, Web UI, Models, Stable Diffusion, and right here, you want to paste these two files. Now we're on the home stretch, so go back. You can go back here again. Open up the st2.0 folder or whatever you named it. Go into Stable Diffusion Web UI, and at the bottom, you have Web UI User .bat. You want to double click this, and it'll begin loading the terminal, which will essentially be. This is essentially the brain of the whole thing. This will be the thing that you'll need to open up every single time you want to generate anime images. The first time you're opening it up, you're gonna need to wait a good 20-30 minutes, it takes up quite a while. But once you're done with that, you're basically done, you've gotten everything and you can begin making anime images. Now that it's done loading, you'll get an IP address like this right at the end. You copy this, and you go into Google, and no this isn't actually an IP address, this is just local IP. And you write this into Google, and it'll open up something like this. Now you're essentially done, however I will mention one quick thing, in case this doesn't work and you don't get an IP when it's finished loading, just turn this off, turn it on again, and it'll work. It should work at least. Otherwise, comment below and I'll try to do my best to help you. One last thing, when you're in here, you want to go right to the top and change this to anything v3.0, then go into settings, 
Scroll to the bottom until you find this, SDVA. Click on this, anything V3.0. And now you're done! You can go back to text to image and you can begin AI generating images. I won't go super deep in this video on how to use this bot because there's a lot to it, but it's also not super advanced. As an example, let's say I want to make Monica. I do long hair, uh, brown hair, <laughs> Monica underscore, Doki Doki Literature Club. Now this might seem advanced, but there's a method to this madness. And that method is Danboru.donmy.us. Danboru.donmy.us is essentially the database that collects loads of anime images and then allows you to make all of these AI generated images. The thing that the model is based on. So any tag you find on the site will work on the bot. Disclaimer, there's a lot of not safe for work on the site. Like, a lot. But there's also a lot of safe for work stuff. It's basically just anime of all type, like images of all type you can think of. Anyway, here's a neat trick you can do if you want to recreate a character like Monica pretty quickly. Search for Monica and find the Doki Doki one here. And then find an image that highlights Monica quite well, just like this one. Now what you do is you look on these tags here on the side and you just copy all of these into the bot. And by doing this, you get something that is actually pretty similar. Now you're gonna need to like, still get used to like adding some extra tags and other stuff because normally not all of the tags are here. But as an example, if I take all of these and add them here, just by doing that, you get a result like this. I mean, this clearly looks like Monica. It's obviously not perfect. It's also not super high resolution because we haven't changed any of the settings yet. However, if you take this and then add loads of new things, add loads of other details, then this can begin looking really good. So let's have a quick look at these settings first. Sampling steps. This is how detailed they'll be. How many different images it'll use to then combine to make it look better. I usually leave this on 40 to 50. I'm gonna put it on 50 for now. Sampling method is basically what type of engine it uses to actually make the AI images. Euler A is pretty good, but I also like DDIM quite a lot, so I'm gonna pick that. You're probably gonna have more sampling methods than me, I've just removed some because I don't use most of them. Width and height is what you think it is, it's resolution. Here I usually leave width at 512 and height at 768, so it's a bit of a taller image. CFG scale is how contrasted the image is. Essentially, the higher you put this, the darker the blacks will be, the lighter the lights will be. However, I usually leave this on just 10, because when you put it higher than this, maybe 11 is fine, then it becomes incredibly artificial. It just doesn't look good. So I recommend putting this on 10, 9, 8, 11, but don't really do anything other than that. And just by doing this, and I generate an image, we'll get a pretty different type of result. And check that out, wow. That looks way better, not only does it look even more like Monica, the clothing is wrong though, I didn't specify what type of clothing I want her to wear, just school uniform, so you'd want to add that like brown jacket, brown white shirt, whatever. But this looks so much better and we didn't change any of the tags, just by changing some of the sampling steps and CFG scale and whatever. I won't go any further than this, so if you want to know more about how to do this, check out guides for novel AI, anything v3.0, there's quite a lot of them online, and they'll help you generally make images that look way better. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a tutorial on how to use this bot a bit better. That being said, I'm not like an expert anyway, so there's probably gonna be a lot of other YouTubers you can check out that will show you and explain to you how to do this way better than I can. Anyway, goodbye.